Blue Raider Podcast. I'm your host, Jake Bolden. Today is Tuesday, December 5th, and I'm very eager to share this pilot episode of the podcast with the people of Murfreesboro and the Blue Raider faithful. For those that may not know me, I have worked for the Murfreesboro Post and Main Street Media for the last seven years covering high school sports and MTSU sports. I'm excited to step out from behind the keyboard and in front of the microphone to air out news, updates around Blue Raider athletics. I've been working on this project for many months, and in light of recent events, I could not think of a better time to introduce this project. With the new football coach announcement looming, basketball's conference slate is around the corner, we should have plenty to discuss in the coming weeks. I am the lone host of the show. I intend to bring in local media talent alike to discuss X's and O's, as well as meet and interview your favorite Blue Raider athletes and coaches. As I previously stated, this is a project that I've been working diligently on because as a lifelong Blue Raider fan, I craved a bit more. Aside from what the athletic communications offer, I've wanted a fans-led show to have the people's voice heard. If you're a diehard like myself, there's a clear opening in the Mid-State Media Outlook for MT Athletics. The Blue Raiders don't get the coverage that I myself and hopefully many of you are looking for. That is my motivation for the podcast. What ultimately forced my hands to beginning sooner rather than later was the support the university gathered after the parting of ways with long-tenured head football coach Rick Stockstill. There's a lot more of us out there than I initially would have guessed. I hope myself and this podcast can be a part of this new, energetic appeal of MTSU Athletics. And in the spirit of complete transparency, this is my podcast to share my thoughts and opinions on the state of Blue Raider Athletics, for good or for worse. I think we are often painted a picture that everything, at all times, is fine. Much less the Nashville market hardly knows we exist, so I want to encourage listeners to write into the show via our email at blueraiderpod at gmail.com or follow us on the X app, formerly known as Twitter, at Blue Raider Pod. A part of my media blitz and marketing campaign for the podcast is to reach out to as many Blue Raider fans as possible in the first couple of weeks, get your opinions, thoughts, concerns, and even share them on the show. I can't stress enough how much I support the Blue Raiders and want to be a voice for those that want to see the program have success. By no means is this a podcast that I've designed to tear down, be completely negative all the time, but more so something that is fan-driven. For those that don't know me personally, I was born and raised in Rockville, Tennessee, just down the road. I attended Eagleville High School, and then I went to Motlow State for my associates, and then finally got my bachelor's at Middle Tennessee. I've been around MTSU my entire life and know more than I'd like to share about the Blue Raiders. So who better than myself to share this pent-up information to those of you that choose to wear blue? When I say I am a unicorn, or Pegasus if you will, I truly mean that. I have an allegiance to MTSU and no other. Those that are not from the area would assume surely I cheer for somebody else. And inexplicably, I don't. So that brings me to conclude this brief introductory episode. This is just my hello to the people of Murfreesboro and encourage you to make me a part of your weekly routine as I plan to release episodes every Tuesday morning. It goes without saying this is a pre-recorded episode, but all topics will be up to date as we discuss the previous week's games, scores, news around the league. I'll cover all the bases in athletics, not just our major three sports, and even non-sports segments within our not-so-small world of Murfreesboro. I'll aim to keep things short and sweet for your Tuesday commute, just 20 to 30 minutes weekly. You'll be able to listen on all your favorite podcast streams, iTunes, Spotify, and SoundCloud, and much more. I appreciate you tuning in, and I hope to have you back next week as I discuss hoops and hopefully the hiring of a new head football coach. It's been reported to expect an announcement sometime this week. Uh, To get into the topics of the week's podcast, as well as the schedule for this upcoming week, we have a lot of hoops action. Um, The men are at home twice this week, one this evening at 6.30 against a good Missouri State team that is slightly favored, and then the return of the Belmont Bruins to the Murphy Center at 7.30, airing on CBS Sports Network this Saturday. On the ladies' side, if you haven't already made this a plan, you, you have a very short time to do so as they travel down to Huntsville, the Von Braun Center. They're going to play the Tennessee Lady Vols. That tip-off is at 6.30, and again, short drive, hour 45, two hours for those of you in Murfreesboro to get down to Huntsville. Um, I would love to see that place painted blue fully anticipate a big showing um, and hopefully our our ladies get back to their winning ways lastly to wrap up the week the girls will travel to cookville another short drive for those of you in murfreesboro as they face tennessee tech on sunday tip off there will be at one o'clock 
Next week, I'm excited to have Calvin White from MTSU Sidelines, writer and editor, join me in my first full episode. We'd appreciate your submissions for the upcoming episode. And once again, that email is blueraiderpod at gmail.com or direct message us on x at blueraiderpod. And of course, as always, I appreciate your following, your sharing, your downloading of the episodes. And until next time, I hope everyone has a great week and go blue.